What just happened? I'm Dan. That is Jules. And today we're here to talk season four, episode seven of Only Murders in the Building called Valley of the Dolls. Jules, this one had some meat on it. Real I good know. Stuff. And also, I can't believe we're on episode seven already. Yeah, we got eight, nine, and ten left. So we're doing a theory video this week. It should come out Friday at some point. We're going to have Sophie on from Ireland. That's going to be Yee. so fun. Can't wait to do it. So this episode starts off, obviously, with the gang racing out of New York City. Go, go, go. Where are we going? Out of the city. The killer was in our apartments and filming us, which makes him a perv, too. They just want to get out of town. Oliver is just focused on sending his breakup text to Loretta because he thinks that she said fuck you to him, basically, of his proposal, which was not the case. And he sent yeah. it's over. It's over with 12 exclamation points. So that comes into play later. And then Mabel suggests they go to Charles' sister's house. It's in Long Island. And then Mabel calls Howard to let him know where they went. I wrote bad idea because he's got a big mouth. And he ends up telling people. Yeah, why that, of all people would you yeah. trust Howard with that information? Yeah, he, he told anyone that wanted to know. Yeah, they're over here. <laughs> anyone that wanted to know. Literally everybody. <laughs> yeah, but, but he was tasked with the job, a very important job of figuring out who is cashing the dude enough checks at the bodega yes. and he does. So he figures it out. So great job by Howard. This episode, really good stuff. So they get the Charles sister sounds. Her name is Doreen and it's Melissa McCarthy. Oh, well, look who finally decided to show up for Thanksgiving. <laughs> Too bad it's April. Now, I heard she was in this season. I just forgot. I, was, I texted Jules about it. I was like, that's I her. forgot, too. I <laughs> yeah. forgot, too. But, so like, I, I love her. I'm very, yeah. very excited to see her in this. Yeah, she did a good job in this episode. She's very funny. And there's just dolls everywhere in her house. Just everywhere. That's why it's the title so of the episode. I like your dolls. Everywhere. So I did. I, I noticed one that was a Taylor Swift doll because it kind of looks like her and she had an 87 on. That's Travis Kelsey's number. So that was definitely for Taylor Swift. Yeah, I noticed that. So look at that. Uh, and then Oliver spots a doll that looks identical to Loretta. Does this gorgeous doll remind you of anyone? Braids, porcelain skin, perky little set of... Oliver! And then he's like double thinking about what he just sent her. He's all upset. And Mabel just wants to focus on the case. That's what she's wanting wants to yeah. do. Charles is kind of in a weird mood. He feels bad for causing his sister's spleen to be removed at a young age. He has a lot of guilt towards it. When Doreen was three, I was pushing her on a swing and I pushed her too hard and she flew off and ended up losing her spleen. Then Bev shows up. <laughs> They're like, oh, oh, Howard, come on, man. Howard, come on. So she's wondering if the brother sisters are the killers because that would kind of really screw up the movie. And Charles goes, definitely not them. I th think and she takes it as he's 60 percent sure he seems like 60 percent sure and she says the studio is talking about shutting the movie down in total and she's really upset she wants to eat she's like oh i saw pizza crust outside i'll go eat that and then oliver is talking to doreen about the breakup says i'm, I'm simply too emotionally available and then she starts to hit on him pretty heavy and then the actors show up and Zach's like, yo, I escaped the hospital to be here. And Mabel's like, all right, you can stay, but you got to give me your phone. So she takes everybody's phones, puts them in a basket, turns them all off. So that comes into play because Howard can't reach anyone when he finds this info. But he finds a way to get the info across to everyone. So then Doreen is literally cuddling up on Oliver. He's like, that shouldn't be there and puts his arm around her and totally flirting, hitting on him. Then someone else rings the doorbell and it's Loretta. And I was like, oh shit, she's here. Let's go. I was I was super excited to see her show up. It was a really good episode, yep. I think, total. I think this was one of the best episodes of the season. Yeah, I liked it a lot. And they were like in doggy style position when she walked in the door. <laughs> oh, let yourself in. What on earth? <sighs> And then she's like, yo, I got on a six hour flight because you broke up with me over text. You need to explain yourself about that. And he's like, explain myself. I poured my feelings out to you and you said, uh, and then she starts cracking up and she's like, oh my God, you must've talked, been talking to my stand in. Yeah. So it wasn't her. That wasn't even her of the clip we saw of when she was all taped up and shit. That was her stand in. So yeah. that makes sense. That makes sense. And then she's like, should I be worried about Doreen? Everyone should be worried about Doreen. <laughs> That's so good. Such a good line. So Charles is nailing the window shut. I don't know what good that's going to do. He's just super paranoid right now. Yeah, like, yeah. Yeah. Like, I mean, Charles, honey, they shot through the window last night. Yeah, so. exactly. Yeah, twice. <laughs> yeah. So it's just like, whatever. And then he gets into an argument with Doreen. And then she talks about gaslighting. TikTok calls it gaslighting. And you're full of gas. And it's an epidemic. The way they use sayings is so good. I love their use of like... I modern sayings 
It's perfect. It's incredible. It's incredible. Yeah. And then the actors go, are you checking out the semen? What? Where there's murder, there's semen. CSI 101. Zach Galifianakis is perfect addition to the show. I mean, the cast is just so damn good. It's like not people that I would have expected them to put together. At least some of them, you know what I mean? But like, it just yeah. works. The only person missing this episode was Paul Rudd. That was it. If he was in it. I know. It would have been great. So Loretta talks to Eugene Levy. He doesn't remember her at all. They apparently work together like in 83 or something like that. She introduces herself to Zach. She's like, big fan. I adored you in baskets. And then Eva's like, well, I'm not getting any attention. So she's kind of And nobody there. says anything either. Yeah, and no I one. loved it. No one. They're just like, okay, see ya. Um, nobody's complimented me yet. So <laughs> Bev is just hammered shit faced hammered man and she goes and shits on Loretta literally shits on her <laughs> then she goes off on the actors I'm done with Hollywood she leaves the room to go take a nap but then she says she was on a two hour phone call so I really don't know what she was doing in that room but whatever she figures shit out later and then the actors really want to work on the case. So Mabel's like, all right, fine. But doing a different room, go ahead and do it. But they actually do a really good job. And it comes into play Surprisingly, later. Surprisingly, yeah. Yeah. So, and the writer was like, actors are like detectives. Let them do it. What's the, what's the harm it's going to do? Why not? So yeah, it paid off in the end. So it was really cool. And then Howard Howard goes to the bodega and he, and he shows shoulder to try to get the information. He like pulls down his shirt a little bit and shows shoulder. No. I'm sorry. I don't know why I did that. He's like, look, I just want to see the ledger of who's cashing checks. He's like, I'm not going to show you, bro. But then he sees the cat security guard. He's like, oh, my God, you trained your cat to be a security guard? How I have an offer for you. Finally. Well, how would you like for him to be a guest on the soon-to-be number one animal labor podcast in the country? Finally animal, comes in handy. Animal jobs. <laughs> so animal he's like, jobs. I'll get your cat on my podcast. So that gets him the ledger. The signatures do not match. They're different. For every single time that someone cashed a check as do not, they're different. So in my mind, I already know it's the Westies. How about you? Yeah. Yeah. yeah it's pretty obvious. Like, I still don't think they're killers, but I just think. They I don't just think they, I don't think they killed Saz. Yeah, me either. I think they were just running a scheme for money for low rent. And that's it. Like, basically, that's it. So, uh, but theory video coming soon. So if you guys think it was the Westies. But you don't think that they killed dude enough? Possible. That's possible. Yeah, that is possible. Because. I can't see them doing it on purpose. I can see them. Either killing him by accident or he died somehow by accident or just whatever of natural causes. And they were like, well, if he goes, we don't get this sweet deal anymore. Yeah, Maybe true. We can just fake it, you know? Yeah. And iPatch guy has two phones and he acts as Dudenoff. He answers the phone as Dudenoff when the phone rings. So, yeah, they've been like assuming his identity trying to keep this thing going so they can have low rent. So po possibly they killed him or like you said, he died of natural causes. They tossed him in the incinerator. They didn't want anyone to find out so they could keep this rent control thing going. I'm open to all possibilities. What do you guys think? Let us know below. So then Doreen does her hair just like Loretta. And then she gets pissed <laughs> off and jealous and pulls Loretta's hair. Nobody's jerking anybody around. <gasps> yeah, I think people are. Jer Ow! Oh, Doreen! And then she walks away and apologizes, but they fight later. It's fucking hilarious. And then Loretta's like, yo, I want to know what you said to my stand-in. What's up? And he kind of shells up a little bit. And then he eventually tells her. And then the fucking dumbass tells her about the Finsta. That I was so angry. I was like yelling at the screen. I was like, Seriously. oh, you're a fucking idiot. Stop. Shut, shut your mouth. Shut your mouth, dude. And she's so upset. You just so fixed upset. it. Don't ruin it again. <laughs> he just puts his foot in his goddamn mouth. And she's so upset. She's like, I connected with Ronnie. I I, I took screenshots of her memes. I, I, I told her things. I'm like, come on, man. So she needs a minute to go, you know, take in this information. Yeah. She's all upset. So then she's in the other room and she's deleting the memes that she saved that she thought came from Ronnie. And, you know, she's all upset. And then Doreen talks to her and then. Doreen has Oliver's back in this situation and she goes like maybe he's not crazy just super emotional what he said to her earlier in the episode she was just like relaying yeah. that information and then they get into a fight and she pushes her twice knocks her over into the couch and then Loretta plays like acts like she she's like oh my, Wait, my favorite was pacemaker. why are you eating your braids why are you eating your braids yeah, yeah. <laughs> why are you eating your braids oh, oh my god why are you eating your braids huh oh my god yeah she had the upper hand then but then and then Levy's like, oh, I do recognize her now. It was funny. She was in Moonraker. And then she asked, she asked to get out of the like the position she was in. 
And then once she turns, which she, was smart, she kicks the shit out of her. Literally kicks the shit uh, out of her. Oh, oh, my tooth. Oh, God, I should stop this. Yeah. Right? yeah. And then Oliver's like, what was in that bath salts? What they were drinking. Listen, <laughs> and this is what this is what she meant. Like actors are you don't give them enough credit. They get more training than you think. Yeah, right. Very and I took good. stage combat with Sensei Brian. And then Charles and Doreen talk about their mom and like how she feels left out and like you never come to visit. And it's really like sad. And you're kind of feeling mm -hmm. for Doreen and understanding where her character's coming from with all these dogs. She's got a rough relationship with her husband. She's making them sleep in the boat that's outside. And then she talks about the podcast and he's like, what about the, the one about our neighbors being murdered? You're jealous that you're not involved in that? She's like, yeah, but you make it seem cozy. <laughs> you make it cozy, yeah. The podcast is about our neighbors being murdered. Yeah, but you made it sound cozy. God damn, man. So funny, dude. And then this is the part I was talking about. So Bev wakes up from a nap, but then she says she was yelling at the studio for two hours. So napping, on the phone with the studio, whatever. But point is, the movie is full speed ahead. And then, who is that fucking woman, Doreen says? Like, who are these people in my house? Hollywood. Who is that fucking woman? Yeah, I poor so Doreen. She just has yeah. like half a Hollywood just showing yeah, up at the right? front door. I, I had so not even moments. the good half. Like, yeah, right. Loretta and Oliver talk, and she's like, I fought a woman, and I realize you may be crazy. And he says, If you can't handle this crazy, I don't blame you for running. And then she kind of butters off but she's going to grab something from one of the dolls, and she goes, You know what? When I met you, I kind of knew you were a lunatic. Now, I'm not going anywhere. I sign on to Crazy for a lifetime, and she gives him a doll's bracelet to propose for marriage. I'm proposing to you, Oliver. I want to marry you. He goes, any family money? Just kidding. I accept. So, nice little clap. And someone in our comments said that they're actually together in real life. So, if that's true, Are that's they all. Really? Yeah, I mean, I could just I search it right that. now, but... I, I like to leave it up to the imagination and just think that they're together. I'll probably so, look it up after, but I love that. Yeah, if they are, yeah. I, I love that. Now, this is the part where shit gets crazy, and I fucking love this scene. Love it, love it, love it. So the actors wake everyone up, and they're like, case closed. We figured this shit the fuck out. And shout out to Ella from our Discord. If you want to join our Discord to see what we talk about, we talk theories all the time. We have a special going on. You can join for $1. Here's how you do it. And Ella absolutely crushed it. She was spot on. She was saying this is a thing going on from season one. And she mentioned basically everything that they mentioned in this scene. So they made a murder wall, which is apparently better than a murder board, Eva says. To the murder wall, which is like your murder board, but bigger. Therefore, ours is better. And it all goes back to season one. Who poisoned Winnie? They still don't know. Still don't know, know. that. They, they yeah. assumed it was Jan. And it's Probably so satisfying Jan. that they are like calling back these things that were like, hey, they never answered that. Yeah, yeah. But like, doesn't this feel like a series finale type of season for, for it everything? It does. You know what it I mean? It does. And we which have one more season. I, which yeah. is why I almost don't think that we're going to find out who it is. I don't think so either, but I thought or I saw we're gonna think we do, and it, it's a fake out, a fake out type of thing. Yeah, that's true because it is. It's so late in the season, and I still have no goddamn idea. That's why we need your theories, and we're gonna read your theories and react to them in in a couple days. So get them theories in. I can't wait to talk about your theories. And then they're like, "Look at the note on your door." And it was written by a left-handed person. Zach knows this. See the smudge mark? That was written by a left-handed person. How could you know that? Because I studied handwriting. And Jan is a righty, so it couldn't have been Jan. And then think about the note on Jan's door. It was the same exact message that they got to their text message. Mm -hmm. So the same person who threatened Jan was the same person that is threatening them doing all this shit right now. I'm watching you, just like the text message. So it all goes back to season one. So it could be a character that we've seen since who's season the lady, one. Who's the lady who took over Bonnie's job? Is it Uma? Uma, is she yeah. left-handed? Because I feel like it's Uma if it's someone from season one. Your murderer has been after you since season one. That'd be wild if it was her. I would not see that Because she hates everybody, all. especially them. Yeah, that would be insane. So they're putting all this together, right? The murderer has been after you since season one. And people were theorizing when we were doing Only Murders last season that someone was trying to kill Charles. So I don't know how they spotted that, but great job because you were right. They've been after them since yeah. season one. Then Charles goes, oh my God, Saz figured this all out. That's what she wanted to tell me. That's the note on Jan's door. Saz figured this all out. Maybe that's what she wanted to tell me. So it could be that, or it could be that, you know, she wrote the Only Murders movie script. We talked about that in the last theory video. I'm kind of leaning more towards she figured out this shit now and... 
that Charles is right. What about you? Yeah, I mean, it certainly seems like it's the bigger, you know, prize at the end of the day. So yeah. I'd rather it be that. Yeah, me too. And then, you know, they find out all this information and Oliver's just cheesing and he's like, Oh, I, I know it's not the right time, but this bitch is getting married. <laughs> he's just thinking about that. And then the final scene, guys, so good. Chef's kiss. So good. So Doreen makes up with her husband and then he goes, yo, this guy, Howard, I don't know how he got my number, but like Howard figures shit out. And he's like, yeah, he called me. He's like, yeah, I've been trying to get in touch with you guys, but all their phones are off. He knows who killed Dudnoff. It wasn't just one person. It was five different people with one phone number that did the checks. It was all of the Westies. And we see security footage for all of them walking in doing the checks so that's why the signatures never matched up and it totally makes sense and i totally saw that coming from a mile away but then we see this where howard calls the number and it's think i guy that has milton dudendorf's cell phone like he's acting as dudendorf hello this is milton dudendorf <gasps> so when someone calls that phone he's dudendorf so that shit's crazy man really crazy and then he's like they yeah. know so what do they know they know. You know, what does he think that they know? What about the money, about the rent control scheme. Yeah, I think so too. I'm, I'm with you. There's no chance that they're the murderers. Like they technically already knew that, but like, I don't think that they knew that they were also committing fraud. Fraud. Yeah, right. They're like committing a I mean, I guess crime. I don't probably is fraud what they're doing anyway, but I mean, like with the rent control stuff, but. Yeah, but like the extra like stuff they were basically... with cashing checks. Yeah. Right, right, right. Yeah. I assume they're alluding to that. Me too. I'm with you on that. So yeah, that's what we get. Really, really good episode. We finally get some meat and we get some stuff to dig into for the theory video. So come hot, come heavy, drop as many as you want. And we'll pick, we'll, we, we can do like 10, something like that. We'll, we'll do a, a nice long theory video. We'll get into it and we'll try to solve this shit together. So yeah, expect that video in a couple days. Thank you guys so much for watching and we will see you next time. Later. Bye guys. What is my life? What just happened? What just happened? What just happened? What just happened? That just happened. <laughs>